Hey there, it's Steve. It is day 55 of my 90 day YouTube challenge. This is the 55th video that I've made. 55 days in a row, one video each day. Here we go, this is Saturday. So Saturdays I like to put work down and practice the idea of Sabbath, the idea of recharging. And I recharge through my creative activity. So I start off the morning with a coaching call with my executive coach. Then I go to my creative entrepreneur group, which is a great group that I've been going to for two years. We meet over Zoom, started off as a podcasting only group. Then all of us have moved into different creative pursuits. So we do YouTube content, blogs, podcasting, a lot of things creative. So it was good to be in that group today. Have a great conversation about branding. We watched a we watched a Gary V video and discussed a Gary V uh, article and we talked about sales versus branding in this environment. So uh, talking about building your brand and had a great discussion about the coronavirus and just how it's impacting our society and how kind of all of us are feeling at this time and across a lot of different fields. After that, I decided today that I was going to watch a couple of movies. So I decided to watch The Platform, which came from a recommendation from a friend. And then I watched Homecoming, uh, Beyonce's video from Coachella, which is an amazing video. If you are not inspired by Beyonce after watching this video, you definitely will be inspired by her. I think for me, being a former drum major in a marching band and being a uh, watching that and thinking about the fact that I always wanted to play on a big stage when I was in band in high school and looking at the opportunity that these college students got to play at Coachella with Beyonce in a marching band. When you're a musician, you don't really ever think about that you're going to play with a big star like Beyonce or a festival like Coachella when you are in a marching band. It's just something that you don't you may dream about but you don't think it's possible. And to see that Beyonce pulled something like that off, to me it was it was just remarkable to watch that. So I definitely recommend Beyonce's homecoming. Also Got the opportunity to watch the new show, Hashtag Black AF. Uh, very interesting, very different show that I watched. And then the big, the big ask of today, big not big ass, but went to Starbucks today. After a month, got in the car, went through a drive through got a latte for myself, latte for my wife, chocolate croissant for my son. I wore gloves. I wore a mask. Part of me felt a bit guilty going to Starbucks, felt like, well, I'm really privileged. Another part of me felt like, you know what, I'm grateful that I have a job and I'm grateful that I get the opportunity to support other people who are working during this time to pay their bills, pay their rent, stay in college. So definitely with everybody out there, let's all stay safe. Let's think about a brighter future. Let's be hopeful and optimistic about the future as this is going to be a slog. And uh, we're just going to have to get through the slog. And at the end of it, there will be another side. Also, really feel bad for uh, people today. L.A. County, 81 people lost their lives. Definitely mourn with them. And I hope for support for their families and uh, just great memories of their lives for those who are experiencing grief and loss during this time. This is Steve. Day 55, day 56 is tomorrow. Have a good one. Good night.